Creating content nowadays for your blog is super simple. You've got ChatGPT, you got Google Bard, you got Claude, you got Jasper. You've got so many of these amazing tools that are going to help you become a better blogger by enabling you to produce a huge amount of content. But what happens when we produce this type of content is it loses that beautiful creativity that, that we want. Because here's the thing, uh, AI content, you know, so many people are producing it, but where's the beauty? Where's the magic of the words that are actually coming out of it? I just want you to quickly watch this video by Peng Jun. I saw a viral video about this experiment where this blind person was holding a signboard that said, I'm blind, I can't see, please help, something along those lines. And passers-by would walk by and ignore this person. And then this lady comes along, changed his sign, and gave him a sign that said, uh, it's a beautiful day, but I can't see it. And then all of a sudden, people started pouring, you know, the passers-by started giving out donations. Um, and the amount that was collected within the same time frame, I can't remember the exact amount, I'm probably wrong, but the, it was like, like over 30 times the collection rate. So that goes to basically show you how powerful words are. Now, AI is very generic. So how do we make it not generic? How do we make it beautiful? You know, in order to fix that, we as humans have to kind of think to ourselves, all right, how do we be creative? How do we bring our creative side back with us? And look, <laughs> we now have an AI tool that can help us do that to a level that I absolutely love. Now, this AI tool is actually called TextFX by Google. Now, it's in Google's AI kitchen, which means that it's only in beta at the moment and it's only in test, okay? So you got a link to it down below. It's aitestkitchen.withgoogle.com, okay? And you're gonna have to sign into here. You're gonna have to sign in via your Gmail account. You're gonna come to this page, experiment at the intersection of AI and creativity. Okay, you got a thing called music uh, FX, describe a musical idea and hear it come to life. We're not going to look at that at the moment. What we're going to do is we're going to look at text FX, which is supercharge your writing process with AI powered language tools made in collaboration with Lupe Fiasco. Okay, this is really actually cool. If you get a chance, watch the videos with Lupe Fiasco in terms of what it is that um, that he talks about with um, with tef text FX. We're gonna look at chain. And now what chain is actually good for, as you can see here, build a sequence of words that are related to the last one. So this chain is great for finding related keywords like our latent semantic index and keywords. So again, we could just put in, let's put in blogging. What it's gonna do is it's gonna go and it's gonna find a chain of keywords associated with blogging that are related to the blogging term. Blog, article, newspaper, print, press, button, click, mouse. Blogging, internet, computer, desk, chair, table, wood. Blogging, internet, computer, tech. Okay, blogging, internet, web, world, map. Blogging, post, common, share, friend. So again, we're getting loads of these crazy keywords that we can actually put into our content to ensure that it's really, really good and to ensure that it's contextually relevant to what it is that we're actually creating. Okay, let's go on to the next one. We're going to go on to what is called unfold here. So we're going to identify words and phrases that contain a given word, okay? So we can enter a word in here again. We're just going to put in blog, okay? And these are really good because potentially sometimes you're writing your content, okay? And you don't know. You're, you're sick and tired of just using the same word again and again, okay? So what you've got here is, or the, the same way of saying the word again. So you got blog away, blog comment, blog for life, blog post, blog roll, blog spam, blog tour, blog writer, blogger. Um, Blogging platform, bloggy, blog roll, blog spasm. Like I've never even heard of blog spasm. What the hell is that? A blogosphere, fashion blog, food blog. So there are different terms that you can actually use in your content. So you come in here, you find what it is that you're doing. You start utilizing these keywords in your content, making your content more interesting. The next one we'll look at is unaffect or unexpect, excuse me. Make a scene more creative. Okay, so this, I love this, okay? So unexpect is really, really cool. So we're just going to say like blogging at my desk, okay? And so what it's going to do is it's going to work its magic here and it's going to create 
a scene. It's going to create a memorable scene for us. Blogging at my desk on my laptop made of chocolate. Okay, blogging at my desk that is on the black uh, is on the back of a speeding train. Okay, blogging at my desk while a line roars loudly next to me. We're adding, like we're adding this um, imagination to our content, to our words, and this is what we're sorely missing with AI. We're missing this beauty. We're missing this creativity. So being able to add lovely things like this in here is just going to, it's not only going to engage your readers more, but it's going to, it's going to build, you know, readers that come back, subscribers to your email list, potentially even sales that you're looking to make as well. If you engage the mind, then you're going to basically engage their hearts, their emotions, their brain. Okay. So the next one we're going to look at is actually the simile. And now I love this. Create a, sm a simile about a thing or a concept. Okay. So we're just going to go blogging. Okay. Blogging is like a conversation with a friend. Only the friend is, is imagery and you can say whatever you want. Look at, look at how beautiful that is. Look, blogging is like a conversation you have with yourself, except that you can write or you can invite others to listen in. Look, wow, these are beautiful. Blogging is like a journal, but with an audience, right? Perfect. Okay, next. Blogging is like a public journal where you can share your thoughts and ideas with the world. Like, do you see the beauty of these? Do you see how you can start to implement these into your content? That's what this is that's what Google are actually doing here. We're allowing us to it's the cross section of the AI and the creativity because as a blogger, you're losing that creativity if you're just solely focusing on AI. Okay. So look, my name is Bing Kieran Doyle. This is the Blank Page Business. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this. I absolutely love it. There'll be loads more to come about this creative AI side of things, which I love. Okay. More so than the, hey, let's just kind of like put an article in and create AI content. Okay. We want to engage. We want to make this beauty that our people love, that our readers love. So anyway, talk to you in the next one. Oh, if you liked it, please give me a like and a subscribe. Keep it easy. Bye-bye.